tea-themed papers pour into a new friendship and a bit of a virtual garden party to Happy Mail. This is P, the Patricia. <laughs> and I am M, the Mariah. <laughs> Together, we are PM Artist Studio. Your support is greatly appreciated. Please like and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Now let's get started. Well, welcome to our Tea in the Garden, one of our very first paper sets. It's funny seeing these. It's been yeah. a long time. I mean, we've really grown as <laughs> artists and paper makers. Um, but these are our signature, a lot of our signature patterns that you still see in our paper sets because, well, darn it, they are just, I, I think, pretty wonderful. And now the crazy thing is, is they've actually grown into, I mean, they started out as stamps. So they actually grew into papers and now have expanded out into stencils. Like that leaf pattern right there. I like how you did that. Oh, well, thank you very much. That, that was, that was <laughs> neat. I, I might borrow that technique. Well, thanks. I hope some others do too. Comment <laughs> below. <laughs> hey, uh, one of the things that uh, we use and use often are these absolutely wonderful fine tech metallic watercolors. And let me tell you, when you want to gild an edge, they are the product to use. And look at how well, I mean, I couldn't have matched that color any better if I'd tried. <laughs> we, we have all three sets. Yes, P, you know, finally. Oh, and there's some Izzy artwork. Man, she's been uh, entering in a lot of videos. So I might have to start <laughs> putting her in the credits. <laughs> you want to know how to make a princess page, just, you know. Yes. <laughs> Stickers. No, no kidding. <laughs> I'm kind of chuckling here because I see you using this pink and green, and I remember that boyfriend that you had that was an art student. He made a really <laughs> rude comment about nobody uses pink and green. And we both looked at each other and said, we do. <laughs> I don't remember that. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't think he lasted very long. Yeah, most of them didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you were hard on him. Oh, I like how you flipped that okay. instead of... Cute. Instead of taking that, yeah, because that was just way too much pink. Yeah, it was. That that pink is a little overpowering. Even though I tell you what, I mean, it's it's not it's not bubblegum Barbie pink. No, it, it it's a bit dusky. Yeah, I I do. I so and I think one of the other sets I would like to do with these same patterns is a more beachy themed one where I take almost the blues from from the the original tea party I think it is it's what tea in the or just tea party I can't remember I thought it had mm. something to do with the seashore no that's cloudy seaside oh <laughs> see I, I don't know any she doesn't that, that's I don't not her department. I don't have to I, once I make it and I hand it off I'm done that's right unless I want to use some of it oh we're busting out the yarn yeah I don't I ended up my 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 tried and true dusty dusty stuff there the that wool yarn that's variegated as you said yeah variegated is, means it changes color yes is my favorite my most favorite see so it's like man eh, I tried <laughs> <laughs> tried some fluffy stuff I it's just not not doing it for me well that pink wasn't the right pink yeah I hear you and I don't know why the marker. It seems like, I think it's probably still drawing, but the marker on the other side, it really isn't that pink. So either it's the lighting there is a little funny. Oh, that one looks yellow. What are you talking about? The marker. What? Yeah, that's a Posca marker. No. It's yellow. Do you see that I did that little transition from the pink to the yellow to on there? Well, you'll see it again here in a little bit. And so... <laughs> Just printing these quotes out. It's just, it's been kind of a rough couple of weeks, I think. I, I didn't have the quotation marks around them, so I drew them in. Good job. You don't always need them if you cite the person's name. I did, and I felt that was okay too, but you know, I don't know. Just for consistency purposes. Yes, this is true. Now, these little pocket thingies are from two of our. Well, that was Other sets. Izzy's artwork that she's working I know. I'm hey, she's you. getting to be quite the accomplished watercolorist. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's going to need her own YouTube channel sometime soon. Cause... She told me she wanted to make a movie. The yeah, other I know. She's pretty, it, it's pretty funny. 
needed to stamp these things with something, right? I, I, Do you ever feel like that sometimes? Just kind of. Hey, you're the stamper. I guess you know you should come over and visit me more often and see what's on my desk. <laughs> she pretty well just kind of lets me be until I ask for something. Well, I figure you've got see, it all I under control. I've distressed the yeah, edges. Yeah, you, you really didn't need anything. And on they're that. they're pretty nifty little things. But anyway, they are in the the latest purple sets of papers. Those little pockets like that. Oh, there's our banker's envelope. Yes. So. I mean, I've had these things for years, and some are, it's, it's kind of funny, I don't know if I had them in a window or near a window, but some of them are even a bit faded and weird, but they are of this green, which I, I'm kind of into. Sagey. Yeah, I'm kind of into it. And so what's cool, I, well, number one, I needed it to fit into the 6 by 9 golden envelope that I would be sending the happy mail out in. So, this is going to Sheila over at Mini Creations, by the way. I will put a link to her channel. And she's got some garden papers, too. That's why I said it created a friendship. And uh, she's over there giving lovely shout-outs to people. So, I, well, I saw her things, and I was like, oh my gosh, those, those papers need to meet our papers. So, that's what this is all about. Spreading friendship across like, the internet. Like-minded individuals. Yes. I, I think, you know, Tea Party just seems to be pink and green. It's a good... Mm, absolutely. Yeah, you know. Makes you think of those little... Sandwiches. Sandwiches and, and those little cookies. And yeah. I really think of those little pastry kind of things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. With the frosting and they the... call those uh, petite something, um, I think. With the little frosted, like they're little tiny cakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I think there's a petit fours. There we go. That's the word. And the, and the ones that you get in a box are usually kind of gaggy. I, I like the ones that are made in the pastry shop. Yeah. Those are awesome. <laughs> so I think I used all in all about three or four different papers from the tea in the garden set here and then I included a little swatch sample thing because we had already made some of those I like kind of including those in our happy mail that we send out and if you want some happy mail let us know in the comments I'll reach out to you yeah and you need to watch our our live on Saturday because I'm gonna bust out some a new batch of uh, ATC cards yeah or if you're watching this back then go check the uh go check the schedule it may have already appeared <laughs> so I did go ahead and print out quite a few I found various quotes about having tea or a tea party that one right there is from Alice in Wonderland I mean you really can't do tea party without a little good bit old of Alice good old Alice not Alice's restaurant but Alice in Wonderland <laughs> just specify there <laughs> I'm not sure Alice drank tea. I don't know. It's a reference beyond my time, uh -huh. or before my time. Well, it certainly dates me. Uh, did I give you the teapot? I have a really great... I, I, I didn't really... You have a teapot? I have a teapot quote. Oh, no, you didn't give me that. Uh, and and I, there I am using my most favorite... Well, one of my... Definitely in the top five. <laughs> embossing folders. It's just it's so lovely and organic and wonderful. Oh, and that... But I wanted to rough it up a little, you know? Kind of give it some shabby chic. And, you know, what better way to do that than put some picket fence on it? And then rip it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, you know, I just... This has got to be better if I just tear it. <laughs> I don't know what my, my, my problem is with straight lines, but... I, I kind of tend to agree. I mean, there are times when I really do want a straight edge, nice, but yeah. most of the time I, I, I'm i not quite as... Hey, and this is my uh, ink that I won from uh, Kate's Crafty Closet. Oh, I did not guess the color. You want to know, the, there's the new... Um, Tim Holtz came out with a new color. It would have actually probably gone pretty well with this. It's like a uh, flamingo kitsch. Kitsch. Yeah, kitsch. Oh, so it's like pink. Yeah. I, I kind of like it. Hmm. 
I like brown. <laughs> She's a vintage photo kind of girl. And that I don't one? even have an even. No, mine's mine's. Um, I thought it was the vintage photo. Timber, or something. Oh. Oh, that's the stays oh, on. Oh, okay. So this little teapot and and saucer teacup is from our you know way back when actually the very beginning of our paper started out because it was the tea set and all that is that we were making these cards and so i just shrunk it down and then dropped in tea in the garden paper set and so that way it matches us and of course if you are feeling inspired please like the video comment below we love those we do. It's the best way to show your support for us. YouTube likes it too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming in with the alcohol ink markers. They are always very helpful with those deckled edges. When you're not using the fine tag. Yes. When I don't want it to sparkle, I ink it. <laughs> That's a go. quote for you. Yeah. If I don't need it to sparkle, just ink it. Uh, that was a little bit That's of leftover. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of leftover from our art journaling. Mm. So I used the ivy because I, I felt that. And then that little cozy cuppa was uh, a thing that came in some happy mail from the ladies at uh, Beans, Beans on Toast. Their Instagram is definitely worthy, worth checking out. They are super fun. I think they're hilarious. I don't even know if they know that I talk about them all the time over here on YouTube. <laughs> but I, I just, I, I love their stuff that they send us. And so I, did, I wasn't doing like a full on, you know, journal. So I included because Sheila over there at Mini Creations, and it's Mini, M I N I, Mini. Like tiny. Not many as in multiple. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> as in numbers. But uh, she. She's gonna make a journal with her papers. And so this was just to kind of include. And then those little rose ones there, that's not even included in a set. That was like a little bonus thing. Ooh. Yeah, those were some that I just didn't, it, I'd ever felt it fit the sets. Yeah. I, I, I do recall that, making yeah. those, yeah. So there it is, and it's finished. -ness. And I'm telling you, those cute little paper clips kind of go with everything. I really need some of those for my, um, thing I'm, I'm gonna do all right I, I do like that piece of green paper I, I really oh you just put a whole bunch of well yeah look at that that was really nice yeah it went in the little thing and then whatever I had left over it, you know it's a stuffed pocket so I stuffed it yeah <laughs> sure enough and see how well that turned out from the pinks to the yellows absolutely and i again i don't know why it's showing up so pink pink there because it really wasn't quite that pink <laughs> it's my lighting i don't know you put it under the bright could bright be light. your monitor that's what you always just yeah. tell me so there i created that little pocket that you know with the flap and then did the top part folded that back so if you wanted to glue it down or flip it up that's the little sample of all of the tea in the garden papers more of the long two two other long quotes that I didn't use and then just some of the larger sheets that I had left over and thought went well along with the cover sheet so that way she could kind of have some pieces yeah if you like this video please uh let us know by clicking the little like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ring that bell we do this each ding, week ding, ding. <laughs> thank you for watching bye, bye.